I was born in L.A. in the 70s, and there's something about post-60s L.A., pre-paparazzi L.A. There's like this perfect, idyllic, hippie meets suburban vibe. My parents were big dreamers and liberal and hippies, and, you know, I had friends that were kind of from everywhere and looked like everything. Our household was always filled with artists, directors, writers, actors, musicians. My dad was also working on albums my whole childhood, from his own to Michael Jackson's to the Brothers Johnson to George Benson. Michael was so sweet. I think when he made Off the Wall, he was in his early 20s, and he was just like a kid. So he was sort of our, like, relative. You know, he would come over to our house all the time. He'd bring his snake muscles. He's just like a big kid with a lot more talent than we had. <laughs> when I was 11 or 12, I was a little chubby and a little awkward and I had I owned a computer before it was cool to own a computer. Remember when it was like really really nerdy to own a computer? That's when I owned one. And I spent a lot of time on my computer and I wasn't really like being chased by boys. So I just like tried to make people laugh and I just became like the sidekick who would just be the go-between for the hot guys and the hot girls. My sister and I were obsessed with the movie Grease and we used to listen to that record nonstop. We would like listen to the entire record and then we would just scratch the needle all the way back to the beginning without picking it up. And at a certain point, my dad was about to lose his mind. So he just walked in our room one day, picked up the record and just broke it over his knee and <laughs> walked out. I did not want to be in entertainment in any way, and that was for sure like a conscious choice of rebellion. I wanted to be either the president of the United States, a judge, a lawyer, something in politics. Most kids want to run away with their rock band and travel the world, and I wanted to be a judge. So, <laughs> so there you go, uh, nature nurture. <laughs> but I actually didn't really consider it as a option as a career because it felt really extracurricular to me. It took me till I was a teenager to, you know, in college to really understand it was something I wanted to do for a living. I was, from a very early age, seriously, seriously devoted to Saturday Night Live. The church lady was my favorite and at my seventh grade birthday party, I made everybody stop dancing so I could do my imitation of the church lady over the amp. It was really nerdy, super nerdy. Northern Southern California has weird beef. Like, they almost could be two separate states. I love them both for such different reasons. Northern California is the more, like, grown-up uh, sibling who's, like, in college and, like, studying the great philosophers. And Southern California is more, like, discovering new bands and, like, hanging out at the beach. But I like both, you know? I want to be both. <laughs>